Hello everybody and welcome back to Revita 1.0. This is the run that I mentioned in the last episode where I have pre-recorded and I'm doing the commentary after the fact because this was before the patch and I was trying to unlock the final secret to get past Shard 5 and I was having a really hard time of it. I did quite a few attempts at recording this because if you didn't know, prior to the patch that came out recently, um, getting the key pieces to get past Shard 5 and unlock the final story secrets was significantly more difficult. You used to have to get six full uh, hearts and then on the next floor have zero hearts which was really difficult considering you also needed two shields to get to Cam Calderum to do that. I was having a really hard time with it. I had like four or five different videos where I attempted it and it just didn't go well. I'd either get there and not have the six hearts to get the first key piece or I'd get to the next floor and not get the two shields. So I decided to just do a few runs off camera and see what I could get. As you can see as well, I'm using tactics such as recycle to destroy things like keys to get more soul to guarantee that I have those six hearts. Now, if you do get Denial's Memento and get the extra HP, it's not all so hard, but one problem that I found I had a few times is even if I could Flawless Denial, because you don't actually get a full heart, you get an empty heart. Sometimes I'd enter the next floor um, and I'd immediately not have enough uh, HP to actually fill it. I'd not have enough uh, soul to fill the heart and so you need full HP. But we got a really interesting little synergy here. We got the um, the fireworks, which with the laser gun has a bit of a peculiar synergy. It kind of splits off at the base of the laser rather than at the end like you'd expect. But this was kind of the first room where I was like, oh damn, this is this 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 could be it. Like, because the thing I kind of needed is I, I needed to get all this HP and the armor and like all this sort of stuff to get these different key pieces from the uh, crystal door rooms. But... I also needed to make sure I had a run that was sufficiently powerful enough to uh, beat the, 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 the boss at the end because I was fairly sure at the time. I didn't actually know this and I, I will you will find out later um, if this is the case. I didn't actually know if it was going to be a case where there was an extra phase to the boss or there was an extra path to go down. I didn't know what the secret would uncover. I was fairly blind to it at the time. Um, so I, I kind of needed to get a good run. So this was kind of the first one where I was like, oh damn, we've got some real power behind us here. This could really help us out. Um, and the laser gun's just a lot of fun anyways. So you like It kind of reduces the need for certain items, like you don't need piercing or anything like that. It's probably one of the stronger weapons. So at the minute, I was just trying to try my hardest to not get hit. By the way, if you're wondering as well, once we do get to the, um, the ticking tower at the, the very top, um, and we find the door that the, um, the secret key unlocks, we uh, resume normal live commentary. I'm not going to do post commentary for that bit. I decided to resume live commentary. So you can see my initial reaction to all of the new story things. Um, and one good thing as well, now that we've done it, and especially with the new patch, they are, they are done forever and we can go to whatever has been unlocked permanently after that. Taking a bit of damage to this guy, but I wasn't worried about taking damage to this guy because he drops quite a lot of soul and potentially an item. One of, the, one of the big things, like I said as well, that we were kind of struggling on, or I was really struggling on with these attempts, was I was really trying my hardest to find shields, and I was really not getting very lucky at all. I was having a very, very hard time finding the shields that I needed. Finding little chests like this was a blessing, because not only did I get soul, but I also got these items that I could destroy for even more soul, which may seem a little hasty right at the uh, right off the gate, like. But if you don't get like half heart drops in rooms and stuff, or you don't get a lot of heart from denial or if you miss the flawless then you're kind of stuck so destroying things like keys and chests was a great way to farm soul recycle was the best way of doing this like i said you only need full hp now after the patch you don't need six hearts this is nowhere near as hard anymore but at the time i was really struggling with it and um, I was often reaching it with six HP, but they weren't filled, or I was reaching it with five and a half. And because the crystal door can appear at any point on the B floor, sometimes I'd get it as my very first room, which gave me no chance during the floor to build up that HP. And it caused a lot of problems for me. I had a, I had a significant issue of actually gathering the HP. So it caused a few resets. And then sometimes I'd get the HP and I wouldn't get the armor, but they've changed it around in the new patch, like I said, and it's a lot more forgiving. I think when Ben sort of decided to do this idea of um, locking the shard progression behind the story, it was a good idea because it's a big part of the story he wanted everyone to see. But in the first iteration, the way that he did it, the hints were a little vague and people had quite a quite a big bit of difficulty understanding sort of how to um, 
how to get everything and put everything together. So there was a lot of people that were stuck at Shard 5. I know someone personally that essentially just stopped playing for a little while until it got changed because it was so difficult. And especially when you're working your way up the shards and everything feels, the progression feels really good and everything just kind of feels like it's going well. And then you get kind of halted progress by something that you might not understand. Especially when Ravita's wiki was so like, like empty at the time. There wasn't really a guide on there and there were some steam guides about. As you can see, we got our first um, our first taste of the door here. It is right as we enter. So I was really trying not to get hit and I was like, oh my God, a two wave room, no. Because if I get hit here, I need enough soul, need enough soul to be able to um, regen it. And I was very close to not being able to get that. But luckily, just got enough, was able to enter. I left some damage behind there by accident, but I was more... Uh, more intrigued in actually making sure that I got the key here. So we got our first key piece and now we've just got to make our way through the remaining rooms of the B floor. But now is where our run gets a little more fun. The The challenge room and stuff and the elite did help us get some items early, which normally on these six heart runs I wasn't really able to do. But now that we've gotten the, the major requirement, we can start to actually throw HP away. We can start to buy things and actually build up a run. So we already had a, quite a good bit of power behind this run. We had some good items and things, but... Not quite as much as I needed. And there's our first shield. I was super happy to see that because I'd been having other runs where I got all the way to the ice floor and didn't see a single shield. I was getting really unlucky. And obviously, I do have to keep that shield alive. That's a big part of this. But if I can, if I can keep it through the boss, which I can't even remember if I do now. But if I can keep it alive through the boss and stuff, then it's going to be significantly easier for me to actually use the statues to get to Khan Calderum. Um And yeah, I was, I was just a little worried. It was... It was all a bit nerve-wracking. So here I could actually start trading the HP away for you. And I didn't have to start recycling items anymore. So I could start picking up keys, going to chest rooms, all that good stuff. And like I said, it, once once this is done, it unlocked it for later as well. So it's not like we had to keep doing this. And this was like sort of the first item I got that was really clutch. This item's really good. When we're at full HP, we fire an additional bullet. You can already see the craziness that's happening here. And then we got this. Dumbbell. Didn't expect it to work. But look, it does work. And it seems to, to be that it keeps the laser on screen for a little longer, allowing it to deal a bit more damage. So I was very surprised to see that the dumbbell had a synergy. I, I was just kind of looking at the range that it gave us. But now we kind of have an objective to stay at full HP. I mean, considering we're getting armor as well, that's kind of what we want to be doing anyways. But once, once that starts to kick off, I do apologize, I paused there. But once that starts to kick off, you, you really start to notice our power creep up pretty heavily. And now we can start actually picking up the damage that we find too. So we're really getting into the, get into the thick of it here. And you'll actually see, come the end of this run, we get some pretty wicked synergies that cause some really intriguing, uh, really intriguing results. Kind of based off of this, this spiral attack that we've got going on here. I was a little disappointed to not be able to get a Celestial weapon there. Because they're always nice to get early. But... Sometimes you just don't get the keys, but now that we're at full HP, you can see the damage output that we have is is pretty insane, uh, which which really helps with keeping our shields alive. That was one thing that I kept having trouble with in the early games, is, and it's kind of why I'm using the laser weapon, it's I needed something that was powerful enough to make sure I could cl uh, quickly clear rooms so that any shields I did get, I could actually have them stick around for a little while. Now, unfortunately, on this floor, we had basically no keys, so we missed out on quite a lot of chests and items, but when you've got a run like this, you don't need them they're just added extras so i wasn't super upset and we didn't even did indeed get another challenge room here and of course challenge rooms have the chance to drop shields so i was super happy to see that go in here i think i heal up do i not heal up i don't know why i, uh, I think the reason i'm not healing by the way i just realized i think the reason i'm not healing is because i need to be at zero hp for can calderum and that means i need a lot of items to upgrade and i didn't have a lot at the time so i need to make sure i had as minimal health as possible so it was as easy as possible to get to low hp and um, eye dropper that was kind of whatever we just had it um but we move on through and we do get the key guy here which unfortunately obviously we don't have any keys i think he even tries to sell us a legendary if i remember correctly and we just can't we can't grab it, so I don't even know why I'd bothered going in here, but I was a little, yeah, look at that. I was a little upset. He was like, hey, hey, look, look at this chromatic dragon. Do you want it? It costs one key, only one key, and the, the room didn't cost any keys to open. And I'm just here like, oh my God, are you kidding me? So I thought that was a really good price, and I was like, I definitely would have bought that, but no, not for us. Well, here we get another item. Like I said, we just need items that we can put, um, 
things into. And this was another part of our build, actually. This item here was another pretty major part of our build because it upped our range by quite a lot. It also allowed us to place shots within enemies because now our lasers spawn at our reticles position rather than from our gun, which meant that I could basically sit the full shot inside an enemy and get a ridiculous amount of damage. So now I was kind of just on the hunt for, uh, you can see the damage is crazy. I was now just kind of on the hunt for making sure that I didn't get hit, which on this boss for me isn't exactly, yeah, isn't exactly easy because now that shield's useless. That shield cannot be used to get to Camp Caldera anymore. It has to be a full shield. So I was really peed off at this point. I was like, oh no, it's going to be another run down the shitter. And I didn't get any keys from the boss. So I was just like, my God. I can't remember what I gave this guy. Did I give him anything? Did I, I think I gave him eye droppers, didn't I? Yeah. That gives us a bit of a fire rate increase, which is really nice. I think using that guy is always a good idea if you have items you want to trash. And also we got some HP we can trade away right here at this dude. So we can give him two full hearts. For some items so we get the golden chain which is just awesome for later on and the prism which is actually really unfortunate for one reason i have the uh the teleport shot so i actually can't hit the prism at all which was just a bit depressing but also you'll see something later on that thoroughly confused me um due to due to having the prism item now, some of you that have already done the secret will know what i'm talking about but um th th there's something later on to do with part of the story elements that I got incredibly confused about. But at this point, I was getting really kind of worried that this run was really good and I wasn't going to get the shields required, especially after, after having just got hit and lost my full shield here. So I was like, I really need this secret room to contain a shield. It almost has to, otherwise I'm going to be really mad. And it didn't. So I was like, okay, this run's probably dead. And this was what was happening to me quite a lot. So I was getting a bit annoyed. Because, yeah, I was I was having this happen pretty often. So, I can't remember if I took anything here, but I think just because um, I, I need to save full HP for my double shot, I decided not to. But, yeah, I was I was at this point, I was like, this 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 runs very plausibly dead because I didn't get a shield in my secret room. And I basically need room drop secret room, uh, oh, sorry, second secret room or room drop shields to actually make it now. And the, sh the, the shield pedestals, the things that we need to put the shields into, could show up at any point. And because this was pre-patch, we, we don't have any easy way of getting to Count Calderum like we normally would. So, yeah, I was getting really worried. But I found the secret room here, and this one contained a chest, which I was like, hell yes. And then, beautiful, the amount of luck required here. I find my first shield there, my first shield maiden, whatever you want to call them, the statue. Yeah, and I was overjoyed that I just got two shields the room before I needed them. That was so close. I was getting really worried. But now all I've got to do is not get hit until I find my next one, which wasn't too difficult with the current one we had. But the icy rooms do tend to mess me up a little more. So I was still a little worried, um, especially considering our second statue wasn't close. Um, we had to do two rooms to get to it. So we finally found it here. Um, and... The double wave rooms were scaring the hell out of me too. Yeah, as soon as these guys started firing, I'm like, oh no. Oh no, just get in there. And then there you go. We've unlocked Camdlederm and I was finally like, okay. All I've got to do now is trade away a gargantuan amount of HP. Which, honestly, with the amount of items we have, especially with the quality of some of them, wasn't too bad. Um, I think I go with the... Do I go with the laser pointer here? Yes, I do. Laser pointer increased accuracy. On the laser gun, pretty good. Pretty good. We get back up to full HP here because we actually start using our soul meter now with our chain going higher is super valuable. We've missed out on that quite a lot there, but I do get hit straight away. But because of our chain meter, we're getting a lot of room. And we go and see what our chest is. Unfortunately, losing our double shot for a little while here, but it was all worth it for the big rock, the big boulder. Um, but anyways, yeah, we move on and... We've just got to, like, get through the boss without absolutely, completely, like, losing all of our HP. All, all I've got to do is not die, essentially, at this point. And I, I'm pretty set. Because at this point, I was still only, only, like, 90% sure that it was lose all your HP. I didn't actually know that for definite. I'd just been kind of hinted at it by Ben from the Discord. So I was still a bit worried. But it ended up being okay in the end. And we get this here, which is actually pretty good. Reserve tank. When we get hit, we get some soul back. So now we've got some good items to actually upgrade, some good items to do some stuff with. So I was finally, finally feeling a little more in the clear here. And even without our double shot, 
because we've got this teleport shot thing where we can sit the shot directly in the enemy and it stays there for a good amount of time with the dumbbell, we were still dealing pretty good damage and then setting the dude on fire pretty regularly, which dealing me even more. I don't know if I get the flawless here, but I was feeling pretty confident about it because I was just doing so much damage. This attack does always trick me out, so... I don't know how I did here, I can't actually remember. But there you go, actually, we did okay, and we got ourselves a flawless. So, at this point, I can't remember, we'll have to see. Like I said, I've recorded this run a few days ago now. Um, but we did get a shield, which I was really happy about. And I think I actually do leave the memento, don't I? Or, or I, I think I trash the memento, because I need to get rid of the HP. But I have enough items that I can quite easily um, use my HP and get all the way down. And we had a shield as well, which you need. Because if you don't get a shield, you can't remove all of your hearts. So I was a little worried about that. So getting a shield from the boss is pretty clutch. So of course, Firecracker is the first to get upgraded. I just started upgrading everything willy-nilly here. Golden Chain's a great one to upgrade too. Um, and at this point, it was just get rid of as much as we can. So now we're at zero hearts. And I think I even heal up one more time and grab myself another upgrade here. Uh, just to make sure. So let's have a look. Um, I think it's weight, yeah. So heal it one more time, and then we can actually fully get rid of this partial heart. The partial hearts don't actually count, I don't believe, but getting rid of it for me was just like, I kind of have to. Obviously now, we're at the situation where we're going down to a floor that I'm not particularly familiar with, with an incredibly low amount of HP. So I was kind of really relying on my charge meter, and as you can see, the amount of shots we're firing now, it's beautiful. Um, I was really relying on this crystal door room being very early on and indeed it was so i was very very pleased to see that i was a little worried at that hit there these dudes in particular can be very nasty uh, as you can see i do get hit i was absolutely shitting myself at that point and it now means that until i can heal up two more times i'm pretty much stuck but there you go we come here we have no hearts available and it gives us the key piece creating the whole key and nothing but the key very very nice so yeah, now, I was in a situation where I'm, I've am i got the key, but I'm one single hit away from death on a floor that I'm not all that familiar with. So, I was really, really shitting myself, because there's some enemies in here, like that frog that almost got me, that I just do not understand how to escape. So, yeah, I was, I was really, really having a hard time. So I think I decided to go in here, specifically to destroy the chest, to try and refill my heart here. Because I can't afford it anyways, and it did indeed work. And we got ourselves out of that sticky situation. Because I, I I was truly, like, in a very bad situation there. Unfortunately, unable to use that shrine. That shrine's a fun one to use. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, I was I was really shitting it. But we got a challenge room here. I decided to go for it just, for, just because I need the soul. And p possibly the item slash armor it could drop at the end. And it's a don't get hit challenge. So I was like, well, that's fine by me because I basically can't get hit anyways. And I'm dealing so much damage at this point that most things are dying as they spawn. So I was pretty confident in that. And there you go. We basically absolutely saved ourselves with a double shield pickup. I was very worried for a little while there. But now I was like, okay, I'm confident that I can at least live through this boss and not be completely shit on. So that was really nice. Obviously, I'm still not exactly confident in not getting hit at all, but I'm at least now a little more confident I won't die, which was very nice to have. <laughs> we got another little chest room as well, which was I was hoping for just more armor from this guy. Even just the soul is pretty good from it, and we got more armor. Very, very nice indeed. I can't remember what I paused for here. I do apologize. Um, during this recording session, I was doing other things. Like I said, I wasn't commentating, so sometimes I was pausing. But I feel at this point, we were pretty damn prepared for whatever came next. We were sitting in a situation where if I made it to whatever the secret ends up being, I was fairly confident that I could do a good job of it, especially considering we have a three times soul meter now, which essentially means that when by the time we get there, we should have similar to the amount of health we had before we gave it all away because we're just gaining so much per room. Three times soul um, meter is, is pretty insane. The golden chain itself is just a fantastic item. And even now, I think I was confident enough to start trading away a bit of HP as well, just because of, like I said, I'm getting so much soul. It was a little more um, palpable, especially when I was getting HP upgrades on the regular. Actually, I did skip it. I did skip it. Okay. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I was being sensible. I was being, I was being playing it safe. I did not know what was in store. I was really trying to play it as safe as I could. And these enemies, I had no idea what the hell these enemies were. And I was like, why can't I hit them? And I was like, 
Hmm, what the hell's going on here? I thought they were bugged out, and then I got close to one, and I was like, oh, shit, it's a giant frog. <laughs> they really confused me, and then I accidentally found a secret room by firing at that guy, which I found pretty funny. So accidentally finding secret rooms in this game is pretty fun, especially the second secret rooms, especially if you don't, if, like, if you don't know they exist. Finding a second secret room by accident must be so confusing. I think the laser gun feels like one of the most likely guns to do that with. The rocket launcher, after I played with that as well, I found that to be kind of interesting. But yes, uh, once we actually beat this, um... Once we actually unlock the secret, we can actually start getting past Shard 5 and unlocking the alt versions of weapons. Which, I think I said, I initially thought there was only one alt version of each weapon, but there's actually multiple. So there was a lot, there's going to be a lot of content to go at after this point. And obviously the difficulty is going to significantly rise too. I did unfortunately have to take the darkness there. I'm not a fan of this one just because on video for you guys specifically, it's not exactly fun to watch when it's really dark. But... I couldn't take the other one. Darkness was just... It's not... It's a, it's, a, it's a problem, but it's not as big of a problem. And also we have the laser gun, which as you can see is kind of lighting the way for us a little bit here. And I think this guy just gets absolutely wrecked. You can see the amount of damage we're doing every time one of these... Uh, tentacles comes our way. This is one of my most, uh, one of my favorite bosses, I think. I think this boss is really, really interesting. I am pretty bad at it, as you can clearly see. It's not, exa it's not exactly like it's my best boss. I've been hit three times already, but this is why I needed all of this extra armor, to make sure of that. And then, I think here, we're pretty much ending the fight, and there you go. Depression is down. And I can't remember if I trade any more, trade away any more HP here, but we can at least grab ourselves the key and the materials and stuff. And we're sitting pretty. Grab, grab, and let's go. By the way, I didn't even mention the fact that I'm wearing a cute little frog on my head. I really like the little frog hat. The hats in this game are just so good. There's so many of them that are just so interesting. It feels like every single person has a fr has a um, one that's going to fit with them. One that's th 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 that they're really going to fall in love with. I know that BD1P was saying there's a cowboy hat for him. Uh, there's a frog one that I really want that'd be really cool. Like, it literally turns your entire head into a frog head. But we're, we're, we're now reaching the point where we're gonna jump back into the live commentary so just prepare for that as soon as we find the the new door and have the ability to use the key on it we're um gonna go ahead and jump in back into the live commentary and see what is in store for us because it is very interesting i'm really excited for you guys to see it for those of you that haven't already and for those of you that know what's coming i'm sure you're excited for me to see it too because it is pretty insane ben did a, an incredible job an incredible job of creating just this massive massive game with so many like i don't know so many twists and turns and things you wouldn't expect and there's just way more content than you'd ever think looking at it from the surface so i think it's maybe the next room or one after that we get our uh reward up but as you can see we've actually created this really really crazy run now as well i was tempted to take the sticky bombs earlier but i was like i don't know what's coming next i might need my hp and you will see i did indeed need my hp so i was very glad for it found a secret room there mini chest again hoping for armor unfortunately just soul but that still helps us get a full heart there we get that and i don't remember if i trade any hp away here no why would you need to carry hp away for any of those items at this point and here we go we end it off the last few rooms, I think this is the second to last. I'm, I'm honestly guessing at this point, I don't 100% know, but we're getting pretty close. And things are about to get pretty interesting. Things are about to get pretty... I'm trying to, to dull down the post commentary so I don't end up speaking over myself when I put it in editing. But there you go, here it is. We found it. What on earth is going on here? <laughs> we got a chest that we can't open. The old photo. And then the way out. This is bizarre. An old photograph, it awakens some strange memories in you. I don't know exactly how I opened this. I can't destroy it. Hmm. Isn't this peculiar? <laughs> I wonder if I have to still win the run. I think we're doing pretty well. Of course, you guys will be hearing the first commentary. I've been trying at this for a while, but now obviously I'm back to live commentary. I've been trying to, to do this challenge for ages and having a really rough time of it. And I really wanted to you guys to see sort of the next progression in the game. So I thought I'd just practice it a bit off camera until I got a run that was worth it. And obviously, as you can see, we've got that now. So hopefully we can keep going through to the boss and see what these old memories do. 
It doesn't specifically say, does it? It just says it awakens something within you. I'm guessing this just means something will happen after the boss, maybe? I think we've got a good, uh, like, a good build here to win. As you can see, this, you've been seeing this whole run and the, the post commentary. This run was just nuts. It's been so good so far. And this, like, because I had to do so many upgrades and stuff, the chain meter is just, like, crazy high. Okay. The only thing is, the portal thing means I have to kind of stand a little further back than I'd like sometimes. But I don't really mind. It's okay. And we've got a shop. I'll check out the shop just in case. I really don't want to trade any HP away if I don't have to, though. But I will check it out. Celestial weapons charge faster. Increase range and damage for half a heart seems really good. It's a little annoying that we got prison this run, and again, because of the portal shots, we can't use it. The portal shots are really good because it increases your range. The dumbbell's really been the big sort of kicker for me here. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Because I spent on the shop, now I don't have... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm good. I wasn't at full HP. Now I get my double shots. Okay, I halved my damage then by accident. Okay, hello, Enigma. Let's see how this goes then, shall we? Let's see how this goes. But th he should die very quickly here. I'll try and use my sword when I can, mainly defensively. But yeah, as you can see, because the bullets just kind of sit inside him for a while, they just do a ton of damage. There you go. First phase done. Didn't even get hit. Let's we'll see how the, f the second phase ends up going here. Acceptance. There might even be a third phase because of this old memories thing. I, I really don't know what to expect here. The only reason I knew how to do it is because I've been speaking with Ben and he's been giving me a few hints. Because I'd been having such a hard time getting past it. He kind of said, uh, he gave me a few hints here and there and I tried a few things. And you guys are now seeing the, the sort of finished product, so to say. Okay, you are dead. Okay, now we gotta see what happens here. Is this gonna be something new? Oh wait, we hugged him. No shooty shooty this time. And the frog climbed back onto our head, that's so cute. Ooh. I've always wondered why this area dropped loot, considering it was the end of the run. I'm guessing it means this is no longer the end of the run. Intriguing. Now, is this going to be combat or is this something completely different? Now, I don't know if our darkness cares is affecting this too much. Oh, the last refuge. Okay, it does seem like a new floor, yeah. Interesting. Okay, I might end up dying here. I don't know. I don't. I also don't know if now that I've done this, if this is this area is unlocked forever. I think it is. I, I don't actually know for sure. The darkness is definitely not helping, considering there's new enemies here. A lot of new enemies, by the looks of it, too. Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, more armor. I've been having such a hard time getting armor, so I'm so happy to be seeing it here. Right, keep on moving through. It doesn't seem like there's many actual rooms in this area, though. Okay, and a key. I don't know how useful that's going to end up being, but I'll take it. I wonder what that chest in the memories area did. I couldn't open it. Some of these enemies will not even get to see what they do. They're just dying. A prison key. Mother's feather. Right, there's a secret, like, question mark room here, so... Oh, hello. Those claws form a familiar shape. Like a prism. I mean, this is tricky because it's like, from a familiar shape like a prism, I've literally got the item called prism. But like, does it literally mean prism? I'll give it prism. Meh. What? <laughs> Oh, 
form a familiar shape. Like a prism. What else could this be? The memento, maybe? I don't want to leave this room because I feel this is very important. Right, one moment. Okay, let's keep trying some other stuff while I, I just message in the Discord and see if anyone knows anything about this. Because, I mean, like, I don't feel like it could be any regular old item. I just find it funny that it says, like a prism, and I literally have prism, and it doesn't fit. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it was something we were meant to get from inside that chest. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. What else in this game looks like a prism? Like an item. What, what other relic looks triangular? Especially story-based ones. I really don't know. I feel like this is definitely important. And if I leave, I'm going to regret it hugely. God damn it. Okay, it looks like whatever it is, I don't currently have it. So we're just going to move on. It might be something that I have to come back and do. I wonder if this door's always going to be open now to get to this floor. Oh god, there's a trap there. I wonder if this door's... Oh my god, I just got double tapped by that trap. Uh, if it's always going to be open now, or if we have to do that whole process every time. I really hope not, because that process is quite difficult to do. Yeah, that process has been quite good. Ooh, we got a champion in here? Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, we got a note from this guy. My work here is done with the plan is set in motion. Oh, I didn't even get to read it. I pressed space too much. You fool. I'll go back on the recording and check it. You guys can pause to read it. I apologize. Right. I don't want to go for the chest, honestly, because I want my health to stay full so we get double shot all the time. I wonder if there's any good secret rooms in this area. I really hope I didn't lose that last piece of armor as well. Also, I wonder what the boss is going to be on this stage. It's going to be like a really hard boss. Because otherwise I'd really want some more armor beforehand. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies right there. Got a metro ticket there out of it. A bit of extra damage. I think with our sword and stuff, we should be okay. Ooh. Okay. We got a lot of soul here. This has got to be the boss, right? What is this? There seems to be something, someone inside. Oh, we crack it open, I see. Who is this? Who are you? Please stop. My head is still pounding. Something here is not right. It's not time. I should still slumber. What? Have. You. Done. What have you done? What have you done? Oh my god, she's an ad. Is she gonna fight us? No, no, no. This can't be happening. I can't let anyone undo my precious work. Mother. Prisoner's memories. Oh, God. Should be ready with the sword. What the... Did she... Did she hurt me when she passed through me? I don't even know. She's dying fast, though. 
We have a lot of damage right now. Okay, phase one done. I'm gonna guess there's a phase two. Okay, no, it looks like there's a lot of phases based on the fact that she just broke one of these orbs and it fully healed her. And there's quite a lot of orbs across the entire room. I'm a little worried. Damn it. Okay, we've lost our double shot now, which is a shame. Please do Please don't say she can crack every single one of these holes. Oh, wait. I think there's only three, actually. Oh, and this time she's at half HP as well. We're still doing good damage. It's just a lot less than before. She's got some really cool attack patterns, though. Okay, what is going on now? She's breaking down. Why? <laughs> Holy damn, what is going on? Did we just escape? <laughs> what just happened? Oh god. Is this another fight? Oh no. I'm not ready. <laughs> My health isn't high enough. What is this? And it is another fight as well. I knew it because my items were still here. Oh lord. What on earth am I looking at here? Regret. There is no way I'm going to beat this this time around. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have good health, but not enough. This is tough. Okay, the sword's definitely helping. Damn, I'm getting hit a lot right now. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. No, oh, no, I mistimed it both times. I'm stupid. Wait. Is that phase one? Or is that dead? That, that seems like dead. I might have come into this with just enough HP and damage. Yeah, I think it's dead. Because <laughs> this rig is cracking. Hey, we got the next shard. I remember a fall, a sense of relief, then nothing. I tried to remember more, but the ache in my heart howls, my, my head howls as I stare up at the clock tower's balcony. My eyes fill with tears as I read the story of an eternity of death, rebirth without end. And then we shoot mother in the head. I can see now, for the first time in a long time, my part in all of this. Yours. It's all so clear. After all I've put you through, whatever you truly are, no matter the obstacle I put in your way, you never gave up. Even as the pain consumed everything, you are determined to help me reach this moment no matter the personal cost. Seems like it's finally time. Thank you. For everything. Peace of mind. We did it! Holy hell! What a what a really cool run as well. Oh, we're sat like at the top here. Good old Ravita kid. Ah, this is our true ending. Awesome. It's a really good ending scene. I like it.
<laughs> That's so good. Falls backwards off. There you go. There it is. Exciting. And now we've unlocked Shard 6. Enemy shoots... Enemy shoot extra bullets. That's going to be so hard. Right, anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. That was an amazing look into the next... Uh, well, the, the true ending of the game. It's very awesome. I do apologize again that it wasn't a full live commentary episode. I will commentate the full thing so you guys will have heard the commentary before. But... I'd been trying at this for a really long time. I try. I think I tried to do like five or six episodes, seven or eight episodes that just didn't work. So in the end, I decided this is the best way to do it. And I want to show you guys some of this cool content as early as I possibly can. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.